That's my Boston's. Boston Terriers. Oh, come back. Fausto. Fausto, can I see your face? Please. Oh, Sophie, Sophie. Oh, oh. No. That was Sophie there. This is Fausto here. And I've been walking them for a few years. I don't know how many. A lot. And I also dog sit overnight for them a lot. And I love staying with them. They're very sweet. They have a brother. But he is not with us today. And a brother named... Uh, oh my gosh, I forgot his name right now. And then there was an older dog named Otto. Oh. The baby's name is Vigo, and he give, gives me lo love bites every time I walk him. And then Otto passed away. He was really sweet. I used to walk four of them. <laughs> so crazy. We a beautiful breeze today. Just gorgeous. It's in the 70s. It's a beautiful California day. Southern California. I haven't listed anything that I have uh, took photos of yesterday. I took photos of 25 items for eBay to resell, and I have listed zero of them. So tonight, that is what I'm going to be doing. I probably won't do them all, because I need to sort of space them out. The experts of YouTube say that you shouldn't just do a whole bunch in one day, and then none another day, you know, the next day or the next day. Gotta space them out a little bit. Better for the mysterious algorithm. <laughs> so I'll do that. Maybe I'll just list about five tonight. Five to ten. That'll be fun. Listing is not as hard as it used to be, and I started to say this in another video and then I got cut off or something, I can't remember. But um I don't know if you guys have heard of Roger Bannister, but he was the first man who ever ran a five-minute mile. Before that, no one could do it. No one could conceive that it was even possible. People thought it was impossible. And then once Roger Bannister did it, a whole bunch of other people did it too. He broke through. So it was like a mental barrier. So I think we have mental barriers with lots of things. And my mental barrier was that listing was super hard super difficult, uh, that it took a long time, that it had to be perfect. It's good to do a good listing, but I was, I couldn't really get my pictures the way I wanted them to, so I had to, you know, I had to move on and, and let good enough be good enough. We're about to cross the street here. Oh, cars everywhere. So I had to let good enough be good enough. I think I hear something coming. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're gonna go over here and use this dumpster for poo. Anyway, the listing's not difficult for me anymore. Um, interesting. It's sort of like slowly, the longer I've just stuck with doing my little bit of eBay every week, slowly all the barriers are coming down. I used to find shipping really difficult, scary. I was always afraid I was going to not do it right and have stuff sent back to me or I don't know. There's lots of fear surrounding that. But you know, the, the whole idea of simplifying really helps a lot of things. There's like probably just through UPS, right, not UPS, USPS, there's probably 20 ways you could ship something, I suppose, you know, different things. but. <laughs> you don't need to use all those ways, you know. I use uh, first class mail, and I use a priority flat rate envelope, which costs like seven fifty something, I think. And it means no matter what I put in there, as long as it fits, it only cost me seven dollars and fifty cents to ship the thing. First class is lower than that. And then uh, occasionally I'll have something that's a little bit bigger, and I've got boxes for that. A lot, most anything, like a jacket or something, will fit in a, um, I could even shove that into a, one of those 
priority shoe boxes. And you know, might cost ten dollars to ship or something like that. But anyway, it's not as scary as it used to be. A lot easier. And uh yeah, so slowly all these things get easier and easier. Right now I'd say my challenge is oh it's making sure things get in the right bin or and that I get the bin number recorded correctly because I do lose things sometimes even though I have had a system from the beginning um, I don't know why but sometimes I go to look for something that's sold and it is not in the bin that I have recorded and I don't really know how that happens so I just got to be really really careful because I am not an above standard seller anymore <laughs> as of about two months ago because I lost I lost a couple things, and when you don't sell a lot, you can't afford to lose things, anything, really. It'll mess you up fast. So, in a couple of months, I, I don't know, I, I think in a couple of months, it'll be better. I think I figured it out, that, it, that I'll go back up as long as I don't lose anything else. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a good thing when you aren't... Uh, top rated seller because you get charged more your fees go higher and there's so many fees that you don't want that to happen okay well if anybody has any questions please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them bye thank you